All right, here we are out here uh, trying to keep the peach trees and all the fruit trees from uh, freezing. We've got the four different little uh, camp type stoves running. It's about 3.30 in the morning, uh, right at freezing. Wind's blowing pretty good. But, uh, it's definitely much, much warmer in this part of the yard, for sure. I'll bring y'all back as uh, it progresses, but uh, the wind's not quite as bad as it used to be. Or it was earlier, I should say. Oh my goodness, I can definitely feel that warmth. Okay, man. We've been running now about, about 10 minutes or so. Most definitely much, much, much warmer in this area of the yard. slow so you can see down the distance of the crescent moon over top of uh, the house over that way definitely much much warmer on the side of the yard This is nothing but a little stick stove right here, and it's uh, it's doing its part. <laughs> All right, We're about an hour in now. Feels pretty good out here. At least it's right up by these fires, it does. All right, it's about 5 a.m. here you can hear everything popping and everything the two bigger stoves are definitely more than uh, keeping us warm over here This is just the uh, stove that I normally uh, use when we go uh, tent camping. And uh, this one down here is smoldering right now, which is more than enough heat. And charcoal chimney. Let's see here what time it is. Okay. A bit after 5 a.m. I hear you. Saw a possum a little while ago. 
he was scampering over top of one of the fences over here. But it's much, much, much warmer in this part of the yard. It's saying it's right at 32 degrees. To me, it doesn't feel it. clear night the winds have really uh, dropped off now which is going to be kind of helpful uh, it's after 5 a.m. so we got maybe well, I don't know, an hour and 40 minutes till the sun pops up and the thing is this part of the yard gets uh, quite literally from the time the sun comes up it just it lights up over here so it'll warm up but it is definitely dramatically warmer over here, this end of the yard. Oh, well, you can see that uh, moon over there. The old, I don't know, was a crescent or half, can't really tell. Anyway, bring it back a little bit, but I think this is, uh, you know, this is gonna work. Might have to do this uh, next day too, maybe. But after that, the temperature is supposed to drop in or, or go all the way up into the 70s. All right, we're in May, I don't know, about 45 minutes from the uh, sun coming up. I am uh, toasty warm. <laughs> and I think the fruit trees are too. fires further up the range uh, they're just kind of smoldering now you can probably hear the other stove out there in the distance popping but I can see it glowing orange from here oh yeah old camping stove doing its doing its thing probably hear my makeshift uh, bird scare <laughs> into a soda can that's been uh, cut in half and uh, dangled in by a little string a little boom all right the uh, air temperature right here right where all this uh, is it's like 38 degrees and you go over to the other part of the yard and it's like 33 We're about I don't know we're not far from the sun coming up now every once in a while we get a pretty good gust of wind but not much not like it was well I think we won the battle for tonight uh, this next coming night then we got to do this again and after that uh, the temperatures go back up like into the 70s Fahrenheit this won't be needed and uh, the closer we get toward April here in the coastal part of Virginia um, we're within about a week or so of uh, planting potatoes and I don't know maybe four weeks where I would safely plant a tomato some people do it earlier, but I usually wait till it really, you know, it really gets warm.
All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'm starting to see the glow of the sun out off the east there. I might have to keep this going. Maybe another 20 minutes. And I think we'll be all right.